My disdain for Keir Starmer is right up there with every other socialist appalled at what he's done to the Labour Party over the last two years, turning it from a movement for real change back into a tame Tory-like poodle, waiting on his turn to trash the country, changing nothing to make our lives better or anyone else's. But the thing that has pissed the left off about him more than anything else, what drove people away from Labour in disgust, has been his shockingly appalling treatment of Jeremy Corbyn, still suspended from the Parliamentary Party, despite being readmitted as a Labour member. Starmer once said this about him. To Jeremy Corbyn, who led our party through some really difficult times, who energised our movement, and who's a friend as well as a colleague. Then yesterday at PMQs, he said this. My personal favourite is this. This is a document, cir document circulated by his backbench, in which they call him the Conservative Corbyn. <laughs> Prime Minister, I don't think that was intended as a compliment. <laughs> Say what you like about Corbyn. Love him or hate him. There was never anything but politeness and respect from him. A firm belief in what he felt was best for this country and ideas to take forward, challenging the government so that he now holds the record for inflicting the most defeats as an opposition leader on a sitting government. Effective and badly missed now when you look at the state of what replaced him. And given the many responses on LBC last night, a great many people would have him back as Labour leader right now. A small-minded, petty individual attacking a man he once said was his friend. With friends like Starmer, who needs enemies? How can anybody think this is the behaviour of a strong or competent leader? It's the height of patheticness. Can you imagine if Theresa May had led into David Cameron like this? She could easily have done so over Brexit, but Starmer's insult was just widely dismissive. Corbyn isn't a vengeful guy, but I think at this point now, more than ever before, we would love to see him start that new party, dreaming as we might well be. But right now, when the country is in such a dire state, a real alternative to the political oxygen thief Starmer cannot come fast enough.